Hey everyone, Coach Gabby here, and to help me show you this awesome workout today, I have Scott, one of our team members here at Spell, and we are so excited to show you this full body chair workout. You can do it at home, you don't need any equipment but a chair. So let's get into it. All right, so we are going to sit down and we're going to come a little bit to the top of the chair so that you're using your body, you know, for balance here. You don't wanna relax back there. We're gonna come up to the front and to start, we have a lateral pull down. So arms up and we are going to pull down and really squeeze back, come up and pull down, elbows to hips, 30 seconds. Remember to engage your core, even though you're sitting down, sucking that tummy, and breathe. Five more seconds. Last one, and done. Very good. So moving on, we have seated kickouts. So if you have, you know, something to hold on to here, like the armrest, you can hold on to here. I'm gonna hold on to my side, and we are going to alternate kicking out, starting with the right, and down, left, 30 seconds. Ooh, my knee just popped, that felt good. <laughs> All right, almost done, five seconds. Last one. Boom, done. Now we're getting to the abs, the core, with some twisting crunches. So what we're gonna do, you can have you know your hands behind your head and we are going to twist crunch. So knee up, twist, and down. 30 seconds. Try to bring your knee more up than your upper body down. So you're really working those, those lower abs. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Very good. So yeah, I felt that. Love to hear it. Core engaged, working, abs are on the way. So. We are going to stand up now, still using our chair, but we're no longer seated, and we are going to be doing plank knee in. So I'm gonna, we're gonna move the chair so you can see it a little bit better. Like so, make sure there, yep, I'm short, so I don't need too much space. And in a plank position, we're gonna go in plank position, and from here, we are going to bring our right knee in, and then our left knee, 30 seconds. Now. If you want an extra challenge, you could do a push-up and then go to knee in. But right now we're just, we're sticking to the, the easy stuff. You should really be feeling your core and also your arms. Ooh, I'm feeling those abs. Five seconds. And last one. Very good. Now walk forward so you can come up gently and turn it around. Because we're doing the same thing, but in a tricep hold. So you're going to have your, the, this part of your hand on the chair and your fingers wrap around. Walk out, very good. Make sure that your knee is stacked over your foot, straight line, and we are going to bring our knee in, starting with the right. Let's go. Up, and there, very good. Now, for this, for an added challenge, you can do a tricep dip, and then to knee drive. But either way, just holding it does the job as well. 
So start at the level you're most comfortable at. Five more seconds. And done, very good. Walk forward, come up, and we are done. That was our full seated workout. What'd you think? Amazing. Awesome. So check out our channel, subscribe. We have a lot more workouts, stretches, recipes. The list is endless. Can't wait to show it to you.